Welcome to Geelong. We're the only Australian city with the UNESCO City of Design designation. We're known for our automotive testing and design, for our indigenous heritage, for our famous football team, the Geelong Cats, and of course, our beach and surf culture. Our community-led vision to become a clever and creative city is well underway. And you can see Geelong's transition taking place with our green spine and the CBD and Deakin University's world-class research facilities. When we're talking Deakin University, we're talking Manufutures, which is placing Geelong at the cutting edge of innovation and enterprise industries in our region. Geelong has a reputation for holding world-class international events. We have the UCI World Cycling Event of the Cadell Evans Great Ocean Road Race and the greatest sailing event in the Southern Hemisphere, the Festival of Sails. Geelong is a city that embraces multiculturalism. Paco Festa is an event that brings people from over 80 nations together to celebrate their music, their culture and their history. It's early in our journey, but we're proud to be UNESCO City of Design. People often think that design is about how things look, the colour, the shapes, the aesthetics, but actually design is so much more, it's about how it works. When design is done well, that's where the magic is. Central Geelong has a terrific DNA. It's got a north-facing bay with a terrific robust grid system with an overlay of smaller streets and really tiny lanes that uh, invite you to explore and some terrific civic buildings which are really shaping the character and the sense of pride in this central city. We have a, what we call the Revitalising Central Geelong Action Plan and this is our 10 year blueprint that is involving the collaboration between the State Government and the City of Greater Geelong with the Geelong Authority working with both of those entities to move and direct the future delivery of this plan. The Green Spine Project is really instrumental in shaping uh, a new sustainable central city image. It involves a, a botanic walk that will extend from the Geelong Railway Station and through to the Eastern Gardens and Botanic Gardens. But it's about greening the city, it's about providing places for rest and respite and congregation. Carbon Nexus here at Deakin University, together with Ostenge and Rockler, have come together to develop a 100-year life bridge which meets the requirements that have been put out by the City of Greater Geelong, looking at uh, green procurement. Depending on uh... Uh, which textbook you read, the geopolymer has got a, a greenhouse footprint uh, of around 20% compared with concrete. And this product um, enormously reduces the embedded energy and the embedded carbon. And also by using carbon fibre in, in combination with geopolymer, you're developing a material and a structure that's going to enable really unique design as well. One of the hallmarks of our Geelong art and culture is actually authenticity. We're really developing projects, events and buildings with amazing architecture that are really statements of our own identity and who we are now and where we've come from, but also there's a sense of you know where we're going to in the future and that's just getting more and more vibrant and more daring as well. One of the projects that that um, I think led to us getting this accolade is Mountain to Mouth, a walk. And that walk is 80 kilometres and it's through the city of Greater Geelong and it's through the borough of Queenscliff. But most importantly, that's about actually recognising both our built but also our natural, our environmental icons. Mountain to Mouth, it is a contemporary songline. Uh, but it is based on the ancient song lines that crisscrossed this country. So I think Grow has done a great job in coming up with a simple plan that addresses one of the most complex issues, and that complex issue is, is entrenched disadvantage. So we have some communities within our broader community that just simply aren't faring very well. We've reported fantastic results, so 75 jobs. So that's 75 people that we can put our hands on their shoulders and say that they've got a job because of Grow, and those jobs are in targeted communities. We expanded G2 Innovation into Australia three and a half years ago and selected Geelong. It's a really inspiring place to work from. We work with organisations all over the world and obviously our move into Australia was to support firms and teams in Australia around innovation and design thinking. And Geelong is an amazing place to start that from. 
The name of my business is Akun. That means thank you. We heard all around Cambodia when we were talking to the Cambodian people and we thought it was a suitable name to call our business. In some of our soaps, you might see that they look like glitters in them, but we know glitter's bad for the environment. It's actually made out of a rock called mica that's biodegradable. And so kids in Cambodia can wash their face with it and they won't get any glitter in their eyes and it won't harm them. We've already sold 1,000 soaps already. We've got enough money, so $3,300, to build a wash house in Cambodia. The TAC for, for a long time has had a very important role in reducing the number of people killed and seriously injured on our roads. So we're now saying it's not just about behaviour. Of course we need everybody to behave on our roads, but that's just the starting point. We also need our roads to be designed to withstand those mistakes. We've got this great stat which says if everybody moved into the safest vehicle in their class, overnight we could actually reduce road trauma by a third. So this really is a significant moment for Geelong to be recognised by UNESCO as a city of design. If you look at the company that we're in, cities such as Berlin and Beijing, Copenhagen, Geelong's really on the world stage here.